Hey! Good morning everyone. I feel like my moustache actually gets worse. Would it even be called a moustache? What would you even call this? Because it's not like there enough to be a moustache. I remind myself of like a year seven. Like it's just started growing facial hair and won't shave it off. But it literally grows back within like a day of me shaving it off anyway. So I'm like at the point where I am grown enough for it to grow back instantly. But also not grown enough for it to actually grow back as anything more than just this. So it's just annoying because I literally shave it and then the day after it comes back. So I've kind of given up. But I need to shave today. It's actually a really, really nice day. I woke up this morning nice and easy. I actually had not a horrible night's sleep because it weren't the worst. But like I kept, you know when you have one of those sleeps where you keep waking up all the way through the night? And for some reason, I keep thinking my bedroom door's being opened in the night. Don't know what it is, but for the past few nights now, I've been waking up like with the fear that someone's opening my bedroom door. Can confirm, no one is in fact opening my bedroom door or has been opening my bedroom door. But for some reason, I just keep panicking and then looking at my bedroom door, I'm like, oh my God, is it open? Is it closed? So some reason I can't tell. But yeah, I've woken up today nice and early. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I said nice and early, I've literally laid in bed. It is now half past 10. I am now making myself breakfast, but I did wake up early this morning. I literally just been laid in bed watching TikToks. And now I'm like, oh, it's actually the daytime. I've got to get up and get up and do some things. I bought some Frosties yesterday for all the So I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and a bowl of Frosties. I'm gonna crack on with some editing because I wanna get all my work done sort of early this morning because Freya and Anna said they're going out for brunch this afternoon. So I would love to go to brunch with Freya and Anna. And also it is my friend Tia's birthday this week. She's moved to Manchester and it's her birthday this week. So we hopefully are gonna go out tonight. Not like out, out, but I think we're gonna go to Roxy Ballroom, which is just like bowling, there's like snooker tables, a bunch of other stuff. I don't know why it's so low down or why I've not put you on a tripod, but it's literally just like a really cool little bar thing in town. So I think we're gonna go there just because she literally, I'm like, what are you doing for your birthday? She said nothing, I have no friends here. And I'm like, that is not happening. We are gonna do something. So I've got our card and stuff from Asda yesterday. So I'm gonna see Tia at some point today. And yes, that's the plan. That is a plan stand. So I kind of want to get everything done earlier on in the day so I'm not like faffing around rushing when it comes to like later this evening or when it comes to like Anna and Freya being like, we've done for the day, do you want to go for food? And I'm like, haha. I laid in bed all morning watching TikToks and didn't actually get any of my work done so now I can't come for brunch. You know what I mean? That's the plan. That's the situation. Oh. Good mugs for my tea. Does anyone else have like a specific mug that they enjoy having tea out of? Because I literally use the same two mugs every time, and then when they're in the dishwasher, I'm like, oh, now what? Right, I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to speak really quickly, but I've finished my work. I'm going to go and meet for an Anna in town. And just like that, I'm dressed and ready. I don't know what the hell is going on through my hair. I feel like my hair at the front just seems very short today. But I'm all dressed and ready. This is what I'm wearing. I literally just got some black dickies on, my new little uh, Dot Martin shoes, my Prada bag. And then I got this from Topshop, actually, Top Man on ASOS the other day. Really, really like it. I've just put a black t shirt underneath. But this is what I'm wearing. I'm now going to go and meet Freya and Anna in town. And just go for little moves around. I literally, like I said, finished all my work like I wanted to do this morning. I don't actually know why I'm wearing this outfit now because I kind of want to wear this out tonight. So we should see what I'm doing, you know, maybe I'll just wear it all day and not actually get changed when we go out later on. However, it's now three o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm gonna run over into town, meet up with Freya and Anna, I wanna get a coffee and like, just have a little wonder. You know what I mean, I feel like I've not gone around town and like, had a wonder in a very long time, so I'm gonna go to town, meet Freya and Anna and just see where the day takes me. Smile, smile. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock in an hour. The only reason Byron came out with us is because he needs to walk the and he can't do anything else at home. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh Hi everyone! <laughs> wow, my hair looks great, Byron, you're going to have to look at my room top. I'm going to sit and stare at the camera for two minutes. Ben? There's a wasp in there, dude. Oh my god, look at your setting up. I'm about to freak out. Yeah, I'm about to fake. Oh, there's a big bug in ass though, as well. <laughs> what? What on earth? Oh, uh, you got fuck. That's like your daddy long legs. Two more, is it? No. Fuck off. Byron, fuck get it. Byron, get what it. What is it, Kayla? Really? Byron, I mean, you will get it before I actually have a panic attack. <laughs> Shut up. Byron, get I'm it. I'm driving the hype. You're gonna have to pull your chair in. If you drop it on me. Have you got it? <laughs> Oh, fucking man. <laughs> no, Byron, don't call the scene. It's gone too tall. Don't call the scene. It's gone too tall. Byron, don't call the scene and put it anywhere near me. I mean it. 
Just pull it out, Barry. Alright, ah! right, I'll actually get it this time. Look, you actually did throw it on your face. Don't call the scene. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Like a fun Where, where you are? Quiet pays no attention to any kind of ever. Uh, we've literally just been for a few drinks in a few drinks. So a few drinks. We've got one drink in Lawn Club. We're now going to go to Affleck because Anna and Freya have never been. I feel like you're going to love the rings actually, Freya. <gasps> oh yeah, we do um, want to get Just going to have a little spicy little walk around Affleck. Maybe grab a coffee in Northern Quarter. You know how it is. And then we're going out tonight. <laughs> We keep saying feel like city girls, but there's a meme on Instagram. No. Girls, we walk around Manchester like they're city girls. But city no, girls, Mr. No. Bean. What is it? No, it says girls, we walk, walk around, around Manchester, Manchester like as if they're the main girls. character, or main character of what, Mr. Bean? Yeah. And that's us. We are the main characters of Mr. Bean. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a little move around town. I feel like it's going to rain, and I literally don't have a jacket or anything. So that's going to be amazing, isn't it, when it rains? I can't let you go, baby. Versus, I mean, winner v winner. That's what we do. Ed. We've got a tournament there. Tournament here. Tournament here. Big moment to find out. Oh, and it's not. Better luck next time, Mr. TBH. Has just won something in her game. So this is pressure. Pressure's on. Oh, it's literally neck and neck. Oh. Guys, I just won. I no one filmed my winning shot. Not even me. <laughs> but I didn't play anyway. It's just taking part of the count. Right, it's literally close. We've just had to do the quickest game of pool ever. Me and Haz didn't get to find out who the ultimate winner is, but it went down to me and Haz. Right, we I've got a lanyard on. Oh, I put a lanyard. I've got a lanyard on. Right, we're walking to. We're walking to Gay Village. Basically, we finished in that place. It's closed. We're in Tempin. We were going to go to Roxy Ballroom, but it actually we didn't have any room. So we're now walking to Gay Village because me, Lewis. Tia and Tom went in a pub the other day and in the back there were strip poles, like not people stripping on them, but like on the dance floor they had strip poles. So it's too early to go actually clubbing, it's like half eleven. But we've all had a drink and we're like, we don't want to go home, so we've got to go see. It's the cheesiest pub in the world. Like it plays like Mr. Replay by Rihanna. Like I love that music, like Wayne Houston and everything. Um, and then there's strip poles and they do a drag queen performing the other night. We went on a Wednesday last week, it's a Wednesday again today. We're going to go there and just see. See what the crack is, you know? See where the night takes us. That was so fun. Like I said, me and Haz do not know who would have been the champion at pool, but we'll leave it at that and we'll, we'll commence the championship another time. But for now, we're gonna drink, dance on some str- Ugh. I'm not even that drunk, I literally been jumping, drinking cider. I can't even speak. We're literally gonna dance on some strip poles and listen to Winnie Houston and live our best lives. It's silent. Oh God, it's, it's Daniel. Daniel. Lewis has found a fucking badge from Boots and he said, refer Daniel. to me only as Daniel from Boots. Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> All right, Daniel. Babe. It's silent. Babe, Daniela. Daniel with two L's is silent. Can he wait to get on a stripper pole? Oh, oh God, I'm balding. Take him home. <laughs> <laughs> 